Hello everyone, Relgan here with another CVT replay and today I want to talk to you about the Tree Roach open versus the Tree Rex Reaper. This is post patch, so the nerf Reapers are going to be what's coming my way. I think it's Tree Rex Reaper, could be two Rex, but I don't know. Basically the same thing anyways. Now it goes for the Tree Rex. And we're going for the pool hatch gas into the Tree Roach opener. I uh, built that um, I don't know, wrote, wrote, wrote two guides on Team Liquid about it. And today I want to show you guys how we shut it down. So I sent two links over here and I scouted with my overlord to see the two barracks which uh, quite obviously tells me it's going to be the Tree Rex Reaper coupled together with no CC on the low ground. At home I'm trying to shut down the Reapers. It's very important to get the roaches out as quickly as possible. Um, the, first, the queen should try to throw down some creep tumors quickly as well. Put one overlord over here. Because this is where the reapers could go up. Put one overlord here. Put another overlord here. Put another one here. And then you'll be able to see all the reapers coming your way. So the goal in the early game is to get to four reaper, uh, four roaches and then drone a bit. Uh, if you don't want to get behind in supply, uh, my links are doing a little bit of work over here. Not too much, just a little bit. Had to, he, had, he pulled his reapers home for whatever reason. And it's now expanding at the same time. We're about even in workers. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Keep in mind he has that um, orbital command that I don't have. So he gets a couple extra workers from the mules. So I miss micro my roaches a bit, so I'm going to take a bit of damage here. Uh, this should never really happen because it's really easy to spot the reapers. Killed a total of five workers right there. Lost some reapers as well. Um, I'd rather have a couple more roaches and a couple too few roaches. Like roaches, uh, um, if you build too few roaches, then you can get behind ra rather quickly because he took a pretty late expansion and is adding additional barracks, as I can tell with my overlord. I built a couple more roaches, opening the production tab. Did I have the production tab closed? I'm sorry if I did. Uh, if you look at the production tab, we are, we are building a couple additional roaches right now. As I said, overlords here are able to give me a lot of information on what my opponent is doing, where he's moving his units. Thought maybe he's down here camping. No, he's not. So I go over here to check again. What I did was, once I had 100 gas free, I threw down the lair. That was pretty early on after my four roaches, before I made additional roaches. Then we built two additional evolution chambers. Once my natural mineral line is saturated, I built the gas. We're going to go over that very quickly after this game is over. <laughs> the reaper threat has obviously been dealt with, so I'm going to speed things up a bit. Just kind of chasing the reapers down. Our opponent is building some stuff at home, some bio units. Nothing too fancy, nothing too weird. That safety tank as well, that will help a lot. Um, makes it quite hard for me to push into him. I knew that he was going to go with the with this this medivac drop, so I'm already prepared. Building the hydralisk, then the missile upgrade and all the good stuff. If you want the replay, it's going to be down in the description below, as is pretty much every single replay that I play, or rather in every game I upload the replay down into the description. Killed a couple of my stuff, nothing too fancy though. Fancy, fancy, fancy is the word of the day guys. Uh, he needs to take his third now, he actually takes a planetary because he's very very scared. I'm just uh, positioning my units to take as little damage as possible right here. Don't really have anything here but there's a drop coming. I mean I, I will spot it in time to react to it. Killed that one with a uh, bile I think. I see there's a drop and I immediately put some units here, put some units here to try and shut it down. Well, upgrade wise, supply wise, I think I'm in a decent spot. Upgrades to 1 against 1 0. And I don't quite manage to kill him because I only put two hydras down here. For whatever reason, I mean, the follow up <coughs> to, to his build, I don't really care much what he does. I feel, I, feel, I feel like I'm in a pretty good position regardless at this point because I didn't really take damage from the Reapers. I mean, I took damage. Because I made misplays, but it's okay. So I put some tanks everywhere to be safe. And loses one medivac. Actually manages to drop the other one, but I have hydralisks at home. Got lurkers on the way as well. You don't have to go lurkers like I do. And you don't have to go hive like I do. You can just go roach ravager, you can transition to Ling Bane. 
But it's kind of the tree roach opener, except that I'm going hydras instead of corruptors. As I said before, you can do a lot of adjustments to the build. I think hydra lists are really cool. But we're going to see. Talk quickly about what happened after this. And here comes the final engagement. I attack him from two sides. I uh, need to make sure that the roaches are at the front so they actually fire. And then it's pretty easy to just clean him up here. And yeah, that's it. That is it. If you look at the supply, I didn't really... Like, I'm still maxed out. I got some hydrics on the way, some links. Nothing really happened. Didn't use much many ravagers either. And I'm going to quickly talk about the economic... The economics... Economics? Econo economics. Economics? Behind the build. Just showing you what we did. We went pool. Hatch. Gas. Then... Roach one. Poor Lord here sees the barracks. No, what's up? No command center, many barracks. So if you check right now, until the three minute mark, I built roaches and queens, and now I'm building only drones. Drones, drones, drones. I'm starting my lair around the three minute 30 mark, I think it was. I'm just building drones, drones, drones. Four minute, four minute 50 mark, I'm already up to 34 drones. My lair is now done, so I can start roach speed, which is like. Which is, which <coughs> Which is very crucial to hunting down the <coughs> the reapers. Now my natural mineral line is saturated, so I take the gases around the five minute mark. Built <coughs> sorry, built these evolution chambers as well. And from here on, it's kind of up to you. I go for three gases usually when I play two base roach pushes. You can build a couple, you can go for four gas as well if you want to go for a follow up. It took the fourth gas a little bit later, anyways. Built the Hydralisk then, once I had enough roaches on the field to deal with his counter. <coughs> Sorry. And yeah. From here on, once the third is finished, I drawn up the third and I just make a lot of roach ravager. And once the Hydra then is done, I mostly go for pure Hydralisk. I don't really build many. Ro Roaches or ravages anymore at all. <coughs> <coughs> Stupid cough. Yeah. That's it mostly. So, going to go over the final engagement quickly so you guys can see it again. Then we will call it a day. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Man. It's moving out. I wanted to move out at the same time, then I noticed that he's attacking me there. So he has to siege his tanks down here in the low ground. And then I come from behind with links, which take the first bunch of sh tank shots are fired at the links, and then the Roach Hydral is forced from both sides, crushes him. And that's it, guys. This is how we beat the 3 Rex Reaper opener pretty easy. Thank you all for watching. I hope I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.